Hello, it's 75 Beat Players with a look at my DS games. Now I'm doing this so so you can take a look at the games I have and so if you want me to do any reviews or walkthroughs of them, I'm doing some anyway, just tell me. So comment on it. Uh, first, we have The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. The box looks quite nice. And I'll try not to review it, so I'll do a separate one about that later. The game card looks like that and it's the first in the Cartoon Zelda series I think. Uh, here is Star Wars The Force Unleashed for the DS. Again, well, it's quite cool, quite dark, kind of telling about the story I guess. That the story is quite dark, and that's the game card. Another Star Star Wars game now. Star Wars Battlefront. Elite Squadron, a uh, big battle going on in the uh, cover, that tells you the main parts of the game, and well, the mid one is the only one we're really interested in, interested in, because that's the best, and that's the space flight. And that's the game card. Transformers Decepticons for the DS. It's all purple, like the. It's purple and red, so the kind of Decepticon. Insignia colours and a, very, and a very black Decepticon game card. The second Transformers game Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Decepticons, as you can see there, a little logo now. Pretty much the same kind of concept art as the first one. And the game card is basically the same, although it's got purple around the outside instead of black. Pokemon now, with the Pokemon Diamond version. And there's the main Pokemon there, Dialga, and the diamond there with the little blue light in the corner. That just tells you a little bit about the game like all the Pokemon games do. And the game card is basically the same as the box, I guess, just Pokemon Diamond there, Blue Streak there. Second Pokemon game, Pokemon Platinum. I'm doing a walkthrough at the moment, so you can see that. And if you'd have, I think you'll agree, it's going quite well. 
apart from a little fight between me and Peter. And the game card, it's like the box, although Pokemon game title, Pokemon Platinum there, is instead of the main Pokemon, which is Garantina for Platinum. On to the second pile. The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, which is the sequel to Phantom Hourglass, so it continues the story of Cartoon Link. It, on the back it shows some new features, so the fact that you blow in the mic to use the pan flute. And the game card is kind of the same as uh, Phantom Hourglass, apart from its green. Really. Now, a game I'm sure most people know. The new, the new, or I guess now it will be the old. Super Mario Bros. for the DS. It's quite plain, but it doesn't need to be. It just shows you a little bit of gameplay and the mini games. It tells you what it can do. And the game card is like the box lid cover. Another Mario game, Mario Kart DS. Uh, well, it's basically the same as the Wii, apart from it has different tracks, and it's for the DS, but they're basically the same. Yeah. And the game card is all racy, like that. Let me try to do a close up. Very racy and fast, hinting that Mario Kart races are very fast and fun. Back to Pokemon games with Pokemon Black, the newest Pokemon game out, I think, or the newest Pokemon game of the Journey series really where you catch Pokemon. I think there's others like Pokemon Rumble for the 3DS where you play as Pokemon but I don't know. It's quite different now with the game card. The cover, the plastic bit is black instead of grey and they basically blacked out everything they could. So really the only non-black things are the Nintendo DS, the Pokemon thing which is yellow as always, and the outlines of the writing. But it looks quite cool and the game is quite cool as well. So I recommend you get it if you can. Pokemon Heart Gold, a big box now. They only did this for Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the remake of Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. And the main Pokemon is Ho Ho. Ho Oh, I think it's pronounced. Oh, I'm really not quite sure. This doesn't have the game in though, because we get a separate box just like the rest. It's quite plain, but it's just trying to represent, I guess, the old one. A black plastic 
uh, game card again quite plain Pokemon Heart Gold it's kind of like Pokemon Black just plain it says all it needs to do nothing exciting in the background that's all moving on to the 3DS now with Ridge Racer 3D it's very exciting the cover I think it looks better than the Alpha Beats I think it's called I don't know but the other racing game that was released with the launch of the 3DS something different between the DS and the 3DS well, they're thinner, they're all white, whereas it's clear plastic for the DS. But you get a little icon there. See? And that shows up on the 3DS when you turn it on. So look for that icon if you're playing Ridge Racer. game card also looks like the icon so orange and, and racy uh, you know there's a little knobbly bit there which means there God. there which means you can't put it in the DS systems so yeah that looks quite cool now onto my newest 3DS game The Legend of Zelda or Ocar Ocarina of Time 3D this is a remake of the Nintendo 64 game and it's meant to be one of the greatest games of all time I think again there's the icon like all good Zelda games it tells you a bit about the gameplay the new things they've added in so motion sensors for looking around, looking around. don't have the game card in at the moment that's in my 3DS so I'll just get it out there we go sorry for that that's the game card so it looks well I think it looks quite cool gold in the background Legend of Zelda different than the other Zelda games it looks quite shiny and there's the knobbly bit there so if you want me to do any reviews walkthroughs of any of the games just comment I'll see what I can do. Until then, YouTubers, goodbye.